And therefore I want to say that it was indeed an immense honor to have our Palestinian leadership led by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Riyad al-Maliki, as well as the Ambassador in our midst, as we celebrated our two decades of democracy, two de decades of freedom. And we said then, and we still maintain, that ours in 94, Minister, was just essentially opening the door towards what we need to do beyond 94. It gave us the key in unlocking it, but it was not the end. So ours were ensuring that we create a non-racial, a non-sexist, a democratic and prosperous society, but was full of contradictions. There are those that wanted to undermine what the new South Africa is all about, by saying the new South Africa equals reconciliation in an abstract sense. Reconciliation without speaking about skewed development. Reconciliation without speaking about the inequalities. Reconciliation without speaking about the question of underdevelopment. Reconciliation, therefore, cannot be seen outside of those issues. And somehow in the, in the 20th year of our democracy, we will have to redefine and engage very thoroughly on that very notion of reconciliation and transformation. As we've said, and as so many speakers said before me, our struggle against apartheid was our, your struggle. And the spirit of international solidarity, we say, your struggle is indeed our struggle. As we celebrate two decades of freedom, we echo the words of a hero of world peace and international solidarity. Comrade Nelson Mandela, when he said that the Palestinian cause is, and I want to quote this, the greatest moral issue of our time. Now, what does that mean? Are we starting to slogan here about that? When we engage at the universities, when we analyze this at our various institutions, whether it's the political parties, or whether it is the civil society structures, whether it is the solidarity organizations globally, what do we mean when we speak about it's the greatest moral issue of our time? A speaker has already indicated even what Tata Mediva said on the 4th of December, 97, about the fact that our struggles are inseparable. Today, as we celebrate the two decades of democracy and the United Nations International Year of Solidarity with Palestine, we say, as our ANC leadership has said since the founding of, of the State of Israel, that we stand in solidarity with the people of Palestine. And let me pause here by, by, by indicating that the notion of international solidarity and the discussion around global peace, what we've seen over the last couple of years, there's a redefinition of what human rights is all about. Suddenly human rights is being defined by some countries in the world to suit their political and subjective national interests. And therefore there's a debate globally where the South African government in various forums, whether it's at the United Nations, whether it's a non-aligned movement, or other institutional engagements, we've raised that very essence that we cannot have human rights categorized in a particular definition in some areas, but not necessarily a standardized version and a perspective on human rights, because indeed so, what is taking place in Palestine is human atrocities. 